He's sneaking the best skin tonight. Bacon, I am. Yeah, bacon. The Tiny Core 4.2. Released a couple of days ago. And super duper it is. But it's a little bit different from the last one, as you may see. Now I'm using the Core Plus disc, or whatever Core it's called now, which has got a lot of other stuff on it, okay? Which is 42 megabytes. But you can still download the original Tiny Core for around about 11.8 megabytes, something like that. Now I must say, when I downloaded the first ISO, I had the wrong MD5 checksum. Even though I tried to run it, it just wasn't playing ball. And even the second one, although it was the right checksum, I had a bit of trouble trying to install it. It didn't want to install for some reason. But I've got a third one, and everything's hunky dory. So lucky, lucky me. Okay. Now, as you can see, we're not in JWM or anything like that. We're in Fluxbox today. Now, if you get the Core Plus one, which is the 42 megabyte one, you actually get a different choice of environments. So you get the Ice Window Manager, JWM, Fluxbox, Hacksbox, or just straight CLI. You can have whatever you like, which is super duper as far as I'm aware. So anyway, just a quick look around, because it wasn't so long ago when the last one came out. Super duper fast releases. This one is a bit faster, yes, on booting especially. So that's Supery of the Dupery. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've installed a couple of browsers. So we've got Midori, which works really well in Tiny Core, I must admit. Now it's gone straight to the Tiny Core page. Oh, by the way, it uses DuckDuckGo as its main search engine. Quack, 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 quack. Here he shows you all about it, old Robert. Geezer that he is. Well, as you can see, it comes with the kernel 3.03. Blah, 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 lots of stuff you can read yourself, blah, 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 and some more blah. So, anyway, remember you can get the uh, micro core as well still, which is CLI only, and go from there. But if you want to get yourself into tiny core, you know, easily, what you really need to do is get the bigger one. Yes, oh yes, the big uh, one. You'd be all right with 11 megabyte one, but if you get the 42 one, you get a lot more in it, okay? for you to play with basically at the end of the day yes so yeah that's enough of that come out of that what else can i show you it's changed there's lots and lots of tiny changes because it's tiny core but lots and lots of them that i'm not going to bore you with but all i'm going to say is in general use it's easier installing even easier for the simple reason is it actually installs a bootloader and everything for you you don't have to do it individually they've removed the tc grub for dos section that was here before and now it does it all in installation. It takes about 30 seconds, 35 seconds, something like that, on a reasonable new machine. I'm going to try it on a really old machine tomorrow to see how long it takes to install, but it won't be that much longer, really, will it? Right, HTOP. As you can see, no CPU usage, super duper. 47 RAM, I can live with that, I'll give it enough anyway. And I've got a little bit of swap there, just in case, okay? I've also installed Aurora Web Browser. This is based on the QT libraries. Now, Qt doesn't seem to play very well with this actually, or maybe it's just the browser. So if I go into Tiny Core here, and we see how responsive it is. There you go. It's reasonable once it gets going, isn't it? Right, so not so bad. Can't be too bad there. Actually, comes out a bit nicer actually the page, but installing is a lot of libraries. But hey, got plenty of time. It's an old machine, no big deal really, is there? Now I've not installed Flash in that yet, or an audio or video play just yet. Although I will get around to that. Tombow notes, I'm afraid, does not work for me. I'm obviously missing a lib there somewhere, so I'll do a check on that later. I've also installed Slifed. It's Slifed for my mail. And I'll get out of this. Yes, thank you. Slifed is a really nice light mail client. I use it on some machines, not on others. It all depends, really, at the end of the day. But yeah, you can have Thunderbird, but it's rather large. And you want it fast, don't you? Super duper fast. That's what you want. Well, as I said before, it's not a very long video for a simple reason. We done one about a month and a half ago, okay? You still get the app browser. So if I click here, here and here and connect, this is where you get all your apps. So if I wanted to install Abby Word, for instance, I'd click there. It tells you all about it. 4.2 meg, and it will need some dependencies. So it will take a bit longer, okay? And you just click on go, and off you go. Nice and simple. What else? Okay, you get the terminal and your exit. Apps audit, a simple text editor, the main control panel. Here you can do your date and time, backup and restore, and do your bar. You can see you can have all these in the bar if you wanted to, as if you really wanted to. Okay, no problem. Get a mount tool, a mouse tool, some system stats. You can change the wallpaper if you've installed any. 
If you haven't, don't worry about it. You get some services. So I'm on DHCP here for the network. Oh, that's the other thing. After installing some programs and then restarting Tiny Core, I didn't have no network. So basically, all you have to do, if I go down here, if you go down to network, as you can see, I'm using that at the moment. This you have to reconfigure, okay? So super off the duper. Lovely jubbly. Ah, nice. Anyway, Tiny Core 4.2, go and download it, even if it's only the 11.4 meg or 11.8 meg one, but preferably get the large one with all the extras in it. Super duper, 98%. Lovely jubbly, sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later, bye bye.